What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to another Vinyl Pickups video. So, I'm, I'm going to start doing a little bit of a new thing with Vinyl Pickups. Um, I'm going to start like doing like, kind of like episodes just based on like one band or artist. So like I'll get like a bunch of like releases from like, like a band or an artist or anybody, you know. Uh, I, I, I've done this before. I did. The, I think the first time I ever did this was with the Scorpions, but I, I want. I want to actually turn this into like a full fledged idea, if you know what I mean. But uh, the episode today, uh, as you can see by the uh, by the thumbnail and the title of the video, is Jimi Hendrix. Y'all know him. I don't gotta explain myself. Obviously, he, pe most people think he's the greatest guitar player of all time. I'm not gonna argue that. Nobody will really argue that. It kind of depends on what you prefer, but the general public believes Jimi Hendrix is the greatest guitar player of all time. Is he my favorite guitar player? Not quite. He's easily a top 10 for me. But, you know, this guy was absolutely influential, really innovative, and died way, way, way too soon. You know, that infamous club y'all know about the 27 club sad stuff but i'm gonna be talking about some Jimi hendrix today because um past two weeks i've been listening to him a good amount ordered these three cds on amazon and i'm gonna be talking about them so before i start no these aren't his three studio albums that i'm gonna be showing off i'm gonna tell you something i like later Jimi hendrix better than early hendrix i like those three studio albums that he did in his lifetime but my problem is that I'm not the biggest like fan of like psychedelic music. Like I gotta be in the mood for to listen to psychedelic music. Like I can't like be like driving around in the car, you know, cranking, you know, like a song like um, I don't know, like um, what's a psychedelic Hendrix song? 1983. That's one. I or I can't like listen to like I don't know, like um, like uh, Third Stone from the Sun. I can't like listen to any of that stuff while I'm driving because that stuff's just way too weird. And it's not it's not good car music, but um, yeah. So let's get started. So this thing I'm gonna be showing off. This was the last thing he ever released in his lifetime. You might be seeing where I'm going with this one. This is my favorite. This is my favorite thing Hendrix ever did, whether it's in his lifetime or posthumous. Band of damn gypsies. I absolutely love this. This is one of the greatest live albums of all time. You know, it's called Band of Gypsies because this is his uh, new lineup. of uh, Obviously, it's Jimi Hendrix on guitars and vocals. You got Billy Cox on bass. And he actually got a real bass player this time. Not, nothing against no writing, but he wasn't... Well, first of all, when Hendrix found... Like, he actually he only learned how to play bass so he could play with Hendrix. But Billy Cox is a natural bass player, and a damn good one too. And Buddy Miles on drums and uh, and backing vocals. A lot of backing vocals on this. Um, this is uh, a little bit different from us. Uh, is um, three studio albums. This is a little bit more funky and uh, R and B inspired. Um, very tasty playing by Hendrix on here. I like whenever I want to listen to Hendrix, I'll listen to this. I always reach for this first, or maybe some other stuff talk about in a bit but um yeah this was um let me pull up the release date this was released uh march 25th 1970 it was recorded new year's eve into new year's day 1970 at the fillmore east and i think believe i believe it's new york new york city something like that but um i just absolutely love this like i keep saying um this is this ain't on here you, you don't got you know, Purple Haze and Foxy Lady and Manic Depression and All Along the Watchtower and Hey Joe. No, it's none of that on here. This is all new songs that this lineup wrote together. And the reason why he didn't want to include those songs on here was because he wanted to promote this new band with uh, their material. Which I completely understand. But uh, six songs on here. A lot of them, like there's a couple of them that are like almost 10 minutes long. Or over. Sauce off of Who Knows, which got hella grooves to it. 
absolutely love it. It's probably probably one of my favorite Jimi Hendrix songs right there. I just love it. Great bass on it. Like like it's like it's got this great, you know, sizzling bass playing from Billy Cox. I love it. Buddy Miles' drumming is grooving like all hell. Hendrix is playing groovy as well. Absolutely love it. I love like the middle part where like Buddy Miles is doing like the high singing. I, I just every time that comes on, I'm like, ah, just Absolutely kills me every time. Then you got Machine Gun. Uh, who knows, by the way, is over nine and a half minutes long. Machine Gun is 12 and a half minutes long. Um, I mean, got one of the greatest guitar solos of all time by Jimi Hendrix. I mean, just absolute ferocious playing on that song. It's just absolutely amazing. I mean... <laughs> Like in, in in the solo, he like hold, he he literally like holds a note for like twenty seconds long, and I'm like, oh my goodness gracious! I mean, like the sustain that he's got, it's just uh just absolutely awesome. And then um after that, you got changes, which changes is um a song that's sung by uh Buddy Miles. Uh, very kind of like like when I was saying like R and B inspired. This is this is a little bit kind of R and B. It's got kind of like the um. The smooth playing, it's got like those smooth vocals from Buddy Miles. Great stuff. Love it. It's catchy. Um, and then you got Power to Love, which absolutely rips at the beginning. Like Hendrix has this absolutely sizzling guitar solo with these, you know, lot, lot, I think, yeah, he's using the whammy. And not, not the whammy, the wah pedal. I, I don't know why I mixed that up, but he's using the wah. It's absolutely ear piecing. And it's just, it's great. Um, and then you got me- the last two songs to me kind of kind of fall off a little bit for me. Wow, which is "Message to Love" and "We Gotta Live Together." They're great. They got great playing on them. But like, I just feel like like the first four songs are just where it's at for me. I mean, "Message to Love" and "We Gotta Live Together" are also are really good. I wouldn't say that they're great, but the first four is just absolutely amazing. But yeah, th- this is the greatest thing Hendrix ever did, in my opinion. Some people will agree with me. Others others will say, you know, the greatest thing you ever did was, uh, you know, Art Experience or Access Bold as Lover or Electric Ladyland. Some people may even say that, like, like his greatest stuff is, like, is like his posthumous, like, live stuff. Like, Live at Woodstock, Live at Monterey Pop, uh, Live at Winterland, Live at Atlanta Pop Festival. There's, like, there's like a million. Like, like there's been, like, a million things released, and it's just, it kind of gets sort of chaotic at times, but... Yeah, Band of Gypsies, one of my favorite live albums of all time, and my favorite thing Hendrix ever did. Okay, next up. This is uh, the first posthumous release that um, was released after Hendrix's death. This was released, um, let's see, let me pull up the date. This was released March 5th, 1971. So this was released about, I'd say about six months after he passed away. And um, Cry of Love. Um, I think there's some Drop Dead Jimi Hendrix classics on here. There's there's a couple other songs on here that I'm like, and eh, you you can kind of tell that they just like weren't really thought out too well and like they weren't really finished. They sound like a little bit throwaway to me. But um, that said, I mean, opens up with Freedom, which I mean is a Jimi Hendrix classic. I mean, such a killer riff. It's got this absolutely killer riff at the beginning. Love it, and then you got drifting, which is kind of like this like dreamy song. It kind of, it kind that song kind of like brings you back a little bit to like his like first three albums. It's a little bit kind of atmospheric, a little bit psychedelic. I dig it. Easy Rider, great funky rocker. Love it. And then you got Nightbird, excuse me, Nightbird Flying, which is also great. And then you got My Friend, which is kind of, it's kind of like the sort of kind of got like this um, kind of got like this like sort of like honky tonk kind of piano. Yeah, I thought. I wasn't really the biggest fan of that song. And then you got Straight Ahead, Astro Man. And then uh, you got Angel, which is one of my favorite Jimi Hendrix songs. I absolutely love Angel. Like, going back to Drifting, it's, it's kind of like one of like those, like, sort of, like, that sort of psychedelic, kind of, like, dreamy, atmospheric song. But I just I just absolutely love it. It's just got something to do with that. I just absolutely love it. And then In From the Storm and Belly Button Window. A lot of these songs, like, on, like, these, like, posthumous releases were, like, in Hendrix's live set. Like, we're, like, Constance and Hendrix's live set, like on like his last tour before he passed away, 
like songs like you know freedom and like easy router and like like those songs like i think belly button window is another one those were like in like his live set pretty often but um yeah some great songs on here other songs i'm kind of like kind of like you know i think they're a little bit throwaway um this next one this is uh the second posthumous release that um was released after he passed away. This one was released in October 1971. This is a um, this is a soundtrack to a movie of the same name, Rainbow Bridge. Uh, it's got a, if you can see, there's a couple cracks in the jewel case, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm just happy I own it. There's the back. Okay. But um, yeah um, this this um. This right here is a little bit more funky, which I actually, to be honest, I like I like this a tad bit more than Cry of Love. I think that there, I, I like I like some of the songs on here better. There's like there's like less kind of filler tracks on it, which are and I really and I really like this a lot. I mean I, I like all these. I mean love them. But um, this was a um this is a soundtrack to a movie called Rainbow Bridge, which was, which was like this weird like psychedelic movie that was released and then like. It showed them playing on like in um in Hawaii on like this like on like like in front of like this like volcano and like in front of this inactive volcano in front of a bunch of hippies tripping on acid. Which um that was the performance was actually turned into live in live at Maui, which was uh, actually released I think um like what like less than a year ago, and um it's actually like if you actually watch the footage from Live at Maui, it's actually really cool. Um, it's really bizarre that they're playing in Hawaii in front of like an in front of like on like this like grassy hilltop and like in front of like an inactive volcano. And then like you're watching like the crowd and like they're just like you could just tell they're just tripping on acid. It's it's, it's funny, but um, so it opens up with Dolly Dagger, which is another one of my favorite Jimi Hendrix songs. Love it, Dolly Dagger. Great stuff, and then you got Earth Blues, which but that was that was a song, um, like like uh, like Cry of Love, like a, like a lot of these songs as well were like appeared in this live set pretty often before he passed away. Earth Blues was one of those songs, and then you got Pally Gap, uh, and then Room Full of Mirrors, and then you got a recording of him doing the Star Spangled Banner, which is pretty cool to hear. And then um, yeah, Look Over Yonder, and then Hear My Train a Coming, Hear My Train a Coming. Sorry, I said that, and then it ends off with Hey Baby, New Rising Sun, which. Like I said with Dolly Dagger, that's another one of my favorite Jimi Hendrix songs. It's got great lead playing from him. I, I, I just think it's great. Great stuff. And that includes it. This was all about Jimi Hendrix, one of the greatest guitar player, if not the greatest guitar player of all time. Um, like I said before, I like early, I like later Hendrix better than earlier Hendrix. But um, yeah, it was fun talking about Jimi Hendrix. It always is. Cause I've been on a huge Hendrix kick lately, and I've been listening to his stuff. But um, yeah, we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next final pickups video. I ordered two CDs recently off Amazon. They're coming, I think, October thirteenth. Coming in like a week. I don't, I don't know why they're taking so long to ship. But uh, this is uh, next final pickups video is going to be an episode on a specific band. I'm not going to give away the band name, but it is an it is an '80s. If you want to say hair metal band, but I think they're the they're one of the top three, maybe the greatest hair metal band of all time. I'm not going to say the name of it. You, I mean, you can guess all you want. But you'll find out when I post the next video. But I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss one of these. And I will see you guys next video. Take care, guys. Peace out. Rock on.